So this is the Heat Ray Sadia Electromax. This is an electric boiler that has an immersion tank built into it. Here is a cutaway diagram. You can see the immersion tank there in the middle at the bottom. On the right hand side in dark is the um, the the heater for the radiators. So the, the, the immersion tank and the radiators are separate. The immersion tank is hidden behind these panels here. Okay, and these are the controls. So this one here, as you can see, is turned on, but the light is off. This means it runs on the off-peak electricity, because this property has an Economy 7 electric meter. The Economy 7 electric meter gives you cheaper electricity from 11.30 at night to 6.30 in the morning, which is seven hours, depending on the clock on the meter. And then this one is the 24 hour supply, which is a higher rate, but that's on. But we currently, to use um, peak rate electricity to make hot water, we have to press this button here, which then fires up the one hour booster for the hot water. Also making sure that your hot water button is turned on. That's your water pressure valve, 1.5 bar, just right. And this here is your radiators. So there will be a programmer and a thermostat connected to this where you can set up um, your 16 degrees base temperature and then turn it up and down as you wish. And then this thing here gives you a demand for heat or not. So if I turn on the thermostat, this light should come on to show that there's demand for heat. Because at the moment the thermostat's set to 16 degrees and it's currently about 22 in here. So I've just turned the thermostat up to 24 degrees and we can see the little flame. So there's demand for the heat. Now we have a flashing light here mm. to show that the boiler is now trying to bring the temperature of the air within the flat to 24 degrees. So now it's working hard circulating water, which will go to the radiators, which warm them up, which in turn will warm the air up, bringing the temperature up to 24 degrees. Once it reaches 24 degrees, also, the thermostat we'll will then top, the tell the boiler to stop on the making left, hot water and turn itself dial, off. Plus and now obviously it's got to work this quite hard to maintain a 24 degree temperature. This is how hot the water so is. So that's why I set the, the base temperature to so 16 degrees and then you can just turn it up and down up. as you feel fit. It's nothing to do with the temperature that you want the room at because the thermostat will decide that. It's in other words, how quickly will that room warm up? The ideal setting for that would be around about two thirds of the way to maximum, which it is at the moment. So this is the main power switch for the boiler, so it can be isolated. This is the expansion tank. This keeps the pressure in the radiators. So that when the hot water expands and contracts, it can then uh, cope with the change in density of the water. And this is the pressure of the radiator system. As you can see that the boost on the hot water is on. It says for one hour, so you can either wait a whole hour for the boost to turn off or you can turn the boost off by turning the water off and then turning the water back on. Now the water is on now, but it's not using electricity because the Economy 7 is off at the moment. If you wanted to, some hot water right now and you wanted to use the peak hot water to make it, you could press this button here. So now we're making hot water using the expensive electricity. If we want to turn it off, using the we'll just press this button supply, here which is cheaper. and then turn it back on Thanks again. Thanks for watching. Please like and, and subscribe. And then we're not making electricity. But then tonight, when the Economy 7 electricity flows, normally between 11.30 and 6.30, you can then, it will then make its hot water and it bring it up to temperature.